what's going on the average tech guy here and today we are back more tech more views and the device we're going to be discussing today is going to be my iphone 13 pro max and from the thumbnail you know we'll be talking about these yeah the ssd that used to work but now might work and some definitely don't work so let's jump right into it All right, so out on the table in front of me, I do have some SSD. Now, we're not going to be going through each and every one of these talking about spec speed and all that good stuff. If you do want me to go back through and kind of run through these devices, let me know. Leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can get a video out specifically talking about these individually and which one may be the best. But for right now, we just want to know which one of these is going to be the best for this device. Because it seems that Apple has probably taken some of these and made them obsolete. So that's what I've got some comments about. I did a video on this probably about a year or two ago with the iPhone 11. And I thought that we would probably revisit it since one of my viewers was so adamant about seeing this. So right here, we have one from Rav Power. This is a one terabyte SSD. And then right here, we have the SanDisk Extreme. 500 gigs on that one. This one is a WD Passport, two terabytes on this one. And these both are Samsung. This one is a T5, this one is a T7 with the fingerprint scanner. You've seen both of these before. This one is about 500, I think, and this one is about one terabyte. So what we're going to be doing today is basically plugging each and every one of these up, just seeing which one will work and which one won't work. So you won't waste your money. Now. To test this out, we do have to have some source of power. So today we're gonna to be using a new portable charger that I just got in from ESR. This is a Halo lock, we'll talk about it. I got a full video coming, so stay tuned for that. Be sure and hit that subscribe button so you get that notification. Uh, that's gonna provide our power and the camera kit that we always have to have when we are trying to transfer data from another device to that iPhone right there. One other thing that we gotta have at all times is going to be this. This is an official Apple cable. This is the charger, the USB type C to lightning that came with the iPhone that I have sitting right down there. You gotta have this on deck. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with these devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug up to this battery. I'm gonna power it on. I'm going to plug one in into the camera kit. And then I got to have a USB type C to USB A. And since I got that cable right here, I'm just going to plug in to here. And I want you to be able to see everything because I don't want anybody saying, oh, you did something off camera. You got another cable, none of that stuff. So we're not doing any of that over here. We do have power from this device. And the first one we're going to do is plug up the RAV power. Now the RAV power should work. Plugging it up and we're waiting for the charge up top. So we'll wait for that charge up top. There we go. Now that we have the charge up top, we'll open up our file menu. And once file is open, we will just kind of wait it out and see what happens. So we're just waiting for RAV power to pop up. There we go. RAV power is open. And those are all the files I have on here. Some videos from Insanity, some movies. Let's, um, we don't want any copyright issues, but let's just see if we can play a movie. All right, so since this movie is actually playing, let's just see if we can kind of scrub through it and fast forward and see if it'll still keep playing all right so it is working no issues there let's do one final test and let's just see if we can find a small file i don't have anything small but i mean if we can play it we can send stuff back and forth i'm pretty sure that let's just go on to my phone and let's see I'm just going to send one of these over there, RAV power, and let's just copy it. All 
and there is my file right there went right over to it so no issues with copying files things like that we got it it's all good so the rail power is working this is a rail power ssd this is a one terabyte i'll drop a link below because it does work and you may want to go pick one of these up so now that we know that the rail power actually works let's try out the sand disk same amount of power same amount of everything just plugging it up letting it do its thing all right cannot use this accessory it's too much power that is what a lot of people have been getting so we know that it's not all SSD, but maybe just some SSD require too much power. So SanDisk goes on this side, does not work. Let's try out the WD Passport. This is a two terabyte. And let's see what happens. Does it even show up? Yep, this one is not even showing up. We got power, we got everything. This one is not even showing up. So this one is not gonna be a good candidate either just because it won't even show up on the screen. Well, I guess it did. It was a little late, but it showed up. All right, let's plug it back up. We're gonna give it a second chance. Try it again, try it again. So I was very impatient the first time. So we're just gonna be a little more patient and wait on it. And let's see what happens. So we are waiting and waiting. Still has not shown back up. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Is like as soon as I went to unplug it, it showed up. So let's try it again. Unplug it. And it shows up once you unplug it. Okay, that's weird. That's wild. So we're just gonna take this one off the list. It doesn't work. Now, some of my favorites have been the Samsung the T5 and T7. So this one is a T5, it's 500 gigabytes. And let's just see what happens. We got it plugged up. Everything's looking good. T5 on deck. All right. We're able to scroll through, scroll through. Let's uh, see if we can send something over. Not gonna wanna take all day, but we are going to just select like two small random files or random videos. And let's just send them over to the phone and you do get the status bar up top, letting you know that it is something cooking. So remember, this is Samsung T5, no fingerprint scanner on here, and it's cooking, it's doing it pretty fast, and that's, that's it. Let's go out and browse, let's go to the phone, and there are the two files that I just sent over. So, Samsung T5, no issues there, it works. All right, so that's two that we found that will work. All right, here we go. Last one that I got. This one is the Samsung T7. This one has the fingerprint reader on the front of it. You'll see it light up, there we go. And it will pop up and then it's gonna require me to put my fingerprint here to unlock it. And it's gonna disappear and then it should pop up again. There we go. T7 touch, everything is in place. So. And we do have movies on here, so let's just click on one, just see what happens. We don't want any copyright issues, but this is... Moment. We're partners now! Can't have my partners living in a motel. Okay, so we don't want copyright issues, but we'll let you know that this stuff is working. So final verdict. Um, you know you gotta have an iPhone. That's checked, first and foremost. That's why you came here. You want to expand your storage on that device and we want to do it in the most effective, efficient way. You got to have the original cable that came with that iPhone. You're going to have those two things right out of the box. You're going to need to go out and purchase the USB camera kit. I think this is camera kit three. I've had it so long, but camera kit three, the one that has a lightning power input here and a USB type A over here. You're going to need to have a power source. Now, this one is just the one that I have. This is from ESR. This is a Halo Lock MagSafe wireless charger. Full review coming on it. Just keep that in mind. You got to have some type of power and you got to have an SSD. So right off bat, we know the one from SanDisk, the Extreme and the WD Passport. These are no go for the iPhone. They don't work.
okay? This one shows up and disappears and says it needs too much power. This one only shows up when you go to take it loose, all right? Next thing. We know that these three actually will work. The Samsung T7 with the fingerprint reader, I'm pretty sure the Samsung T7 without will also work. Samsung makes two of these. I'll be sure to drop links below so you can go by and check these out. The Samsung T5 actually also works. No issues there. And the RAV Power SSD, this one is one terabyte. It works as well. So three of those will work with your device. I'll drop links below to the ones that work. I actually drop a link below so you can go by and check out this accessory as well. And I'll drop a link below in case you want to go ahead and check this out before the review. Um, but yeah, this is this is a nice one. 10,000 milliamp hours, full review coming. We'll talk about it later. And you got to have this bad boy right here. This is iPhone 13 or you can have iPhone 12 or you can have iPhone 11. Any of those should work shouldn't be an issue but we did want to revisit this whole thing because it's been a big debacle because these used to work or at least this one used to work now it doesn't it requires too much power so we got that cleared up squared away no issues there the ones over here work the ones over here don't you got to have all this stuff in order for this to work Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Hopefully it cleared some things up for you. And if you get a chance, go by and check some of these out because these are basically my favorites. You can look back at any of my videos. Just go to my channel, type these in. You'll see these in tons of videos. I've been using these since I got them. Love them. Have not had any issues whatsoever. I highly recommend all three of these. I actually recommend these as well. These are good ones. Just they won't work with the iPhone. So if you got an iPhone, I recommend this if you got a android phone or a computer that you're trying to work with or a tablet even i recommend all of these these are really good uh, ssd so until next time be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe average tech guy out peace